Friends, you never know who you'll touch in life. You never know how or when you'll have an impact or how important your example can be to someone else. My faith helps me understand that circumstances don't dictate my happiness or my inner peace. The chances you take, the people you meet, the people you love, the faith that you have, that's what's going to define you. You have to be who you are in this world, no matter what. At the end of the day, my friends, it's not about what you have or even what you've accomplished. It's about what you've done with those accomplishments. It's about who have you lifted up, who have you made better. It's about what you've given back to those people. I think, personally, a role model is a mentor, someone who you see on a daily basis and you learn from them. My faith taught me how to forgive. Faith taught me when people present themselves in a certain way, there's probably some backstory or issue or reason for the way that they are acting. It's not you, my friends. It's them. And a lot of times, it's about something that's completely out of their control. Put God first. I've been protected. I've been directed. I've been corrected. <clears throat> I've kept God in my life and it's kept me humble. I didn't always stick with him, but he always stuck with me. Don't be afraid to think outside the box. Don't be afraid to fail big, to dream big. But remember, dreams without goals are just dreams and they ultimately fuel disappointment. And understand, to achieve these goals, you must apply discipline and consistency. You'll never see a U-Haul behind a hearse. It's not how much you have in life. It's about what you do with what you have. It, that's where the success is in helping others. Say thank you in advance for what's already yours. That's how I live my life. True desire in the heart for anything good is God's proof to you sent beforehand to indicate that it's yours already. My advice is this, and it's simple. Don't just aspire to make a living. Friends, aspire to make a difference. And may God bless each and every one of you. And take good care. Bye-bye. Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I am an author, an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and a host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today radio show. You can see a video version of this if you go to YouTube under channel Take Your Life Back Today show. The Holy Spirit, part two today. Then we have three tomorrow and part four the next day. And when the Holy Spirit comes, he will convict the world concerning sin and righteousness and judgment. John 16, 8. Sorry about the train in the background. The Holy Spirit, part two, my friends. No matter how often we try it, it can be very difficult to show our love for God during times of temptation. Why? Because oftentimes the temptation itself becomes bigger than even our desire to please God. And when we give in to temptation, the result is guilt. If we keep repeating that sin over and over and over, then we can develop a heart of stone. In other words, we become numb to the conviction and eventually lose sight of the freedom that God is offering on the other side of sin. But there is good news for the uh, Christian when facing such enticement. The Holy Spirit convicts us to push back, to say no and to do what is pleasing to God. Sometimes he brings uh, to mind a verse that offers strength to overcome the temptation and helps us find a way out through the example of Jesus Christ. After all, Jesus is the source of what uh, is truly supernatural, resistance to temptation. Too often people try to be good enough on their own and uh, on their own strength, but this is doomed from the start. Why? Because when we face temptation, we are up against a spiritual powers of darkness and evil that are stronger and smarter than any one of us. So thankfully for the Jesus follower, we don't have to live in this. I can do it alone uh, 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 mentally. 
we can claim the power of the Holy Spirit to find true victory in every moment that tempts us to take our eyes off Jesus. Start today. Don't be tempted anymore. Call me at 844-405-HELP. Together, you and I, we can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves and always be good to each other. And remember, simple smile to a stranger can help that stranger and change their life forever. And it can make a difference in your life. Don't forget, I have five books, published books that are out there to help you through each and every day of your life. And remember to ask God for guidance and direction. May God bless you. And we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Take good care.